What's up guys, my name is Lucas and today I will show you how to fix big rusty holes on your car or truck using expanding foam and bundle body filler. I know this technique sounds ridiculous and it's obviously not the best way to do this job because it won't permanently stop the rusting process. But if body shop charged you more than your car is worth, I definitely recommend using this method. As you can see, this minivan has seen much better days, but now it's rusted to the bone. So today I will show you how to fix this into this. So first I'm gonna use grinder to grind out all the bubbling rust around the hole to prevent more rusting in the future. Now guys, with the holes of this size, this almost the size of my palm, I need to put something underneath because if I just spray the foam inside, it would all fall off on the ground. So I place this cardboard here that I will use as a support for my foam. And guys, please wear gloves because the shit will get everywhere and you don't want to end up like this woman who confused it for a hair shampoo. So, there we go. Shake well. At this moment you should refer to the directions at the bottle. Uh, mine says that the foam is stuck free in 15 minutes and it will cure in 8 hours. So I will just let it sit overnight and come back tomorrow. And in case your foam is not holding, uh, you can use some cardboard support on the side too. And I use this broom to support my other cardboard. Now the van was sitting here one day and the foam should be cured by now so I will remove the cardboards and cut the foam into the shape that it aligns with the body panel. The best tool to cut the foam is this kind of kitchen knife with the wavy cutting edge. But before you grab it from kitchen drawer, ask your wife for permission. My girlfriend wasn't very happy when she found out that one of her favorite knives is missing. I recommend to hollow out this foam a little bit. What this gives you is some extra room for body filler, so uh, during the sanding process you don't run into surface cracks caused by this thin layer of body filler on foam foundation. Now I'll grab some 80 grit sanding paper and grind down all the rust underneath the car. Guys, as you can see, I still have some rust over here, but I need to stop grinding because I already grinded the hole into my door, as you can see now. Uh, but I need to keep at least this bottom portion, this bottom edge, so I can use it as a foundation for my body filler. So uh, next step is to wipe the area with the mineral spirits to clean it off the dirt. Also recommended is to mask off the edges of working area to prevent body filler from spreading into these areas where you don't want it to go. Well, now to the body filler mixing. You know that you need to mix body filler with hardener in order to apply it onto surface. Before you mix these two, uh, you need to mix the hardener in its tube. If you are reusing already open tube, uh, just pop the cap and release some air out so you can mix the compound inside. When you are using new hardener, just squeeze the tube at the different spots to mix the substance inside. I believe there are some ratios on how to mix these two compounds, but what I recommend is just to apply a thin bead of hardener across the pile of body filler. Don't stir it with wood, but use this spreader to mix body filler with hardener. Now 
now you have to work fast with these two because you have probably three to five minutes until it's totally hard. The best technique of applying the body filler is to start with thin coat and make sure you apply it with high pressure so it adheres to the surface. And to save some sanding time, I recommend to feather out the edges of body filler. Then you can follow up with filling layer. For sanding, I'm gonna be using these two tools. First, I'm gonna use this orbital sander for rough sanding with uh, 80 grit sandpaper. And then I'm gonna use this sand block uh, for fine sanding with 180 and 320 grit sandpaper. Guys, so I was sanding almost all day, I went through multiple layers of body filler and just check the result now. So smooth. You remember there was a hole? It's just so smooth right now. I still need to finish some spots that I already marked with the marker over here. Good, so this will be the last layer of body filler and then I will just send it down. I just have to wait 20 more minutes. I forgot to say this in the beginning. You have to wait 20 minutes after you apply each coat of the body filler to harden or to cure. Then you can send it down. A cool trick to know if you still need to sand or no, uh, put your hands against the surface of the working area and feel for dimples or bumps. And I'm just gonna finish it with hand sanding this area over here because it's very hard to get there with my orbital sander. And now I clean the surface with mineral spirits one more time so it's ready for painting. Also, mask off the surfaces you don't want to be painted. Just a little bit of primer, because I don't have much of it. So now I will wait 20 to 30 minutes for primer to cure so I can wet sand it with 500 grit sandpaper and then I will apply base coat. And the final step is to apply a couple layers of this base coat and we are done. I was so lucky, I went to AutoZone and I found the exact match. This one says PS2, which is exact color code for my minivan. So let's see how it's gonna turn out. Wow guys, I can't believe it. This is only first layer and look how perfectly it matches the original color. Guys, and this is the final product. Look how awesome it looks. So I believe you can definitely do this at home. That wraps up today. Uh, I hope this video was helpful and you learned something new. Uh, if you did, please give me subscribe so you can see more videos I'll be posting. And the next one, I promise this one is definitely the next one. In the garage there is 370Z, it's ready for me. I'm taking the exhaust off next week, so stay tuned. And all the tools and supplies I used are gonna be in the description below. 
and choose.